you is kind of busted. Where they go all oh, so crazy. Only in Only in bubble five. Erica? Uh, if you got the cert for it, sure. Also, you don't want to be an Erica. They only live like 30 years, and inspectors and ban inspectors and banshees make you eggs a lot. <laughs> Dude, Brian. Alright. Oh, I saw one of those and I was like, that's cool. And I was like, I should get one. And I was like, I have a box. <laughs> At Con, it was, it, if you didn't have like the quality of the material, like Con has gotten out of control. Oh, yeah, no. Those people, those people are hardcore. I, I would have gone, but I had a prior engagement with my local bar. <laughs> that's for you, Brian. And uh, and also Classic WoW, because I decided to get back oh, to that. Oh, yeah. So me and my friends played that. That's and the then second time that came up today. Me and my friends played that and just got rip roaring me drunk, so. I had a conflict with What name anymore. did you get? Uh, I named my character Dewey. So, he's, do you, so my character's like, I don't know. I'm like, you do not know Dewey. And he's like, oh, God damn it. He's like, there's this him yelling at me like, I hate you. I hate you and everything you stand for. And I was like, you don't like the Ugandan knuckles? Hey, guys, hey, guys, he doesn't know Dewey. He's like, God damn it. Son of a bitch. And I was like, ha ha. You fool. Yes. Cody, when you're talking classic of you got to use foul language. It's one of the rules. Yeah, you got to go to the Barons and make Chuck Norris jokes and then call the other guy a whore. <laughs> It wasn't much. Did you, got, did you show Brian your new dice, Cody? It wasn't much, but it was ours. It probably shouldn't have been, but it was ours. All right, you guys all set? Uh, Druid, where's your mini? Uh, you were here. The Druid was the one standing in front. Uh, do you have your little, little dude? I do. Was Druid in Druid form or in bear form? Uh, he, uh, he had gone into Druid. He was still in Druid form. He was going to go bear form on his next turn. But there's not enough space, apparently. Uh, you pushed him back so you could make space, and you ha you just haven't gotten around to your turn again back to Wild Shape. Um, also, Sorcerer, you were down. Yes, yes. I'm unconscious, but I've not failed a death save. No, you have not failed a death save, but... Today. Today. <laughs> I haven't failed one today. I'm, I'm solid on death saves. Alright, so we, uh, we are going to have some reinforcements coming in. Um, reinforcements! Reinforcements. Do we know his name is... Uh, oh, tell me, no, no, your play, your real, your human name. Oh, Rich. Rich, and your friend's name? Vivian. Vivian and Rich. Okay, so Vivian and Rich, we're actually just about to start. I'll show you how to make those at the end. We'll also, I'll hook you up on the Discord because I'll be staying up later. So I can help you with. Um, it's efficient. It's easier to put it on paper sometimes. You do, do. Back in my day, I had to write down my character sheet. I didn't have a phone. <laughs> Well, the one time I used an old, uh, an old iPad, yes. and it broke, and I was like, ah, oh, that's like a $300 character sheet right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the Wi-Fi thing didn't work, so I just had a character sheet on there. I was like, it does, what's it do? Character what sheet. My, character <laughs> sheet. And? Yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what do you mean, and? All right, so, first things first, uh, I guess uh, I could have the two movies roll initiative. Do you know how to do that? Fantastic. They've been listening to drunk podcasts. They're experts. How many drunk people do you know that can do math? <laughs> uh, the decks. Oh, my decks. Uh, so I have uh, 20. All right. 22. All right, 22. Wow, that actually puts you. Uh, we're going to do RA1. Right, so 22. All right. That plus Jesus. your modifier. Is that your first roll ever at a D&D &D table? No, it's not. Okay, I was going to be duly impressed. <laughs> All right. Um, Dex is uh, minus one. Minus one, so that puts you at a 19. All right. So You're still gonna, gonna go very fast. So that's gonna put you just above the sorcerer, hmm. who is dying. All right. So uh, top of the order with the the ranger with a t ranger number two. Uh, you and the paladin have come across this ancient abbey uh, sent by reinforcements from the Mariners Guild to help clear out an abbey of evil clerics. You walk through the Dune of Bones and somehow were not ambushed by 300 skeletons like these guys. Congratulations, <laughs> you, good job. You, you wondered where they all went, and you found a giant pile of bones with several scorch marks and an axe stuck in it. Yes. Uh, you came across a burnt out abbey and walked down the stairs as the top part of the abbey had been burned away. You came across what look, like looks like the horrible scene of a crime as bodies laid strewn about the floor and everything was ransacked. Allegedly. Oh as you walk through, the, you hear sounds of screaming and a, a loud bang and then an explosion coming from a door to your left. As you walk through it, you see a room with dark lit velvet curtains covering the entire wall, save for one where a hole appears to have been blown in it. As you walk over, you see that inside there's a hidden door. As you swing open the door, you see a horrible <laughs> sight as uh, what race is your guy? I'm, I'm, I am Drow. As a Drow lies in front of you, getting 
just pummeled by a specter who's just on top of him UFC style. Just, where's my money? And don't look this one in the eyes. Yeah. Just a little lesson uh, you see, learned. Little uh, lesson learned. To his right, you see what looks like a small yellow frog you. you're, 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 wearing leather armor realistic. with a couple of Wait, rapiers, screaming, in, uh, screaming out in I horror as two words. specters seem to be branching through the walls. Gazing that? through the specters, you see what looks like a large, angry druid dressed like a Scotsman, yelling and trying to fight off the... Uh, a minotaur skeleton. Beyond him lies a shadowy cloaked figure who gives you an uneasy feeling of dread just by staring at him. Uh, you decide that the undead are never your friends, so you're gonna help them out. Uh, so we're gonna start off with ranger number... I'm sorry, uh, yes, ranger number two. Uh, there is two specters. Um, you know, fight. <laughs> uh, am I... Cr so Brian is saying that at the end of last round he gave me a healing word. Oh yes, and I you think did. that may be true. So yes. I think I may be at like yeah, I think you have, six. Hit I think you had like so. seven, but you okay. haven't gone yet, so you haven't stood up. Right, right, right. But I am at seven. Yeah. Hit so points. he is conscious, barely. Okay. Um, but and, you know, and I, barely. And I can assume that I already. Have. It's like a deep. Yeah, well your weapons longer. are probably drawn. You're adventurous. Okay. You know, the last conversation that we had is a healing word, word cause to strap. Because I didn't know it wasn't cure so, one. Uh, can I can I target the spider that is currently covering up the draw? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I just want to make like. Just a regular range attack. Okay, what weapon do you have? Uh, longbow. Okay, so you are going to roll a d20 and Everyone's add your dexterity and your proficiency modifier, which is a plus three. Plus two, plus seven after this. So, uh, 24? A 24 hits. Uh, is your weapon magical, by the way? It is not. Okay, so roll for damage. That's a d8, yes, for a longbow? Okay, you roll that and add your dexterity. Yeah, it was a d4 plus to my mod. One plus, plus, plus four. It's nothing, so it's but five. you don't have to be Okay, five first. damage. Let's see. Did I have their HP written down? I did. Uh, I'm sad. <laughs> okay, Spectre, finally. One Spectre has been hurt this game. Nice work. Uh, <laughs> Dave, do you have a dollar? It shivers a bit and glares at you angrily. As you are the first person to actually bother to hit it. As they jumped out of the walls and just kind of pummeled the sorcerer into submission uh, before you <laughs> Um There's really no room for you to move, although you can move move through the specter, though I wouldn't recommend it. Cody? Uh, so you can choose to hold and not move, or you can try to run in. Uh, I will hold your okay. position. Yeah. Okay, cool. That brings us to Grung. Uh, you watch as the door swings open and an arrow flies through, going straight through the sorcerer. Uh, straight, not through the sorcerer. <laughs> you watch like through the guy the sorcerer. No! <laughs> Don't care. He saw a growl and was like, stop resisting! And you're like, no! Um, so, Grung, you're up. Uh, reinforcements have arrived. Do you see my character take off his a little bulky, a beautiful bowl he's wearing as a helmet? Then he smokes it. Engraved with runes and gems made out of gold. And he connected to a small pipe. Do you know what a Grung is? Uh, he's a frog. He's a frog. Oh, okay. he's a like, frog. literally a frog. He's just, he's just Kermit, but like homicidal, is how I've been describing him. Oh, and I start, I fill it up with water from my water skin and start chanting a magical ritual in Aquin as I Did you ever uh, watch the Jackie Chan Adventures? <laughs> no. The TV show, the Jackie yeah, yeah. No, I didn't even know there were, I know there's the Mr. T Adventures. No, that's the, or the adventure of Mr. T. Like early 2000s. <laughs> okay. His uncle would do rituals, just yelling, oh my god, what if I get down? He pulled like a blowfish, and I guess the man he's doing that. And I summon. And I'm sad, I'm not sure if it was offensive, and but. And the water from a bowl move out as it engulfs. Bowl. It engulfs this. <laughs> I have to imagine he's like turning <laughs> It engulfs this. Take the bowl. And then water elemental comes out. And I'm gonna use my warm attack. What did you get? Okay. There were starbursts, Ben. Wait, no. You have to roll initiative on a water elemental sure. when you summon it, my dude. Okay. What is it? Do you have the no, stats no, for water no, elemental? No, no. Too many stats. Sure. Because I do. <laughs> but if you don't, that's fine. Get the phone. It's fine. I got it. Water elemental. All right. Roll it initiative, please. As he summons a water elemental to help in his fight. All right. D20. All right. What do you got? A seven plus. It has a two, so it's gonna be a nine. So it's going to. Uh, let's see. What did the druid get? A twelve. So it's going to be the last to go. Which so, probably works go. out. Uh, I will also point out you need to maintain concentration on this spell. And you do not want to lose concentration on this spell. <laughs> otherwise it's gonna go on a rampage. Yes, otherwise it will it will beat the crap out of whoever tried to summon it, because it does not like being called from its home on a Wednesday night. Actually It had shit to do. Actually it'll kill everything within its arms range. Yeah, it says it specifically grows hostile to the party. 
Don't make it grow hostile to the party. But won't it also be hostile to Isn't the Isn't that the raddest die you've ever seen? It focuses it's, on the people the who summoned D4 it ever. It's the best D4 ever. ever. If you're the one who caught it out of his house, and it's angry. Um, that's your action. You have movement. Uh, do you have you have movement and bonus actions left? What do you want to do? You need me adjacent to it, right, Brian? Um, I don't think- are you certain I have- I can change shape? Yeah, you I got room now. You my, got a 4x4 four four spot. I will use my bonus action I do have a change shape. So remember I wanted to okay. do one lemon. Yeah, you, you did a lot of short rest. Yeah, we got okay. this all back. Okay. So next round I'm gonna do an- I'm gonna do some- So you line up in Strike. Right. Hey, okay. okay. Um, Dire Wolf? Oh, no, we tried- we tried the Underdark. Alright, yep, swap out. Boom. Face, face the enemy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he falls back and faces the wrong way. Um, uh, you you were raging, right? No. Oh, you went. Oh, right. You burnt out your rage because it was a long. I, I couldn't because I had. I, I also had to cast a spell. Yes, he had to get to cast. You're welcome. Word. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, you're lying on the ground. Why are you saying? Why are you saying you're welcome? No, I'm glad. I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna light this shit up. You have no idea what's about to go down. Fireball. Oh, I know what's about to go down. Yeah, I, I, no, no, I, it's, coming. it's you coming. You were there. Coming, dude. I, I am know not, your awesomeness. I am not person person messing around. Awesomeness. Dude. Did, he, did he tell you about the yeah. amazingness? Alcyon the unkillable. The unkillable. Too loud. I'll tell the unkillable, who's died twice. Uh, I've been unconscious seven times, and I've died, died twice. Is there a yeah. reward for that? I feel like there should be a reward for that. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. And every time I die, I rebuild my character, taking on one of the qualities of what killed me. Thus the drow. He's gonna, yeah. So what, 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 what's that, um... That's in, uh, a skeletal minotaur, two specters, uh, the bodak. Um... But I think I want to attack these people, because I get advantage, right? Okay. Uh, you get advantage on them, yes. Uh, you're not a six level druid yet, though, right? No, so it's not magical. Okay. So it's not magical. It's not okay. magical. So, yes. this is the only one that's been hurt. So, you might want to go for that one first. Which one? Uh, this one. The ranger. Right, right. so I'm, I'm assuming that, I'm, that all these attacks are nerfed. Yes. They are, they're going to be with resistance. I, one second. Hold, please. I need I, I, I don't know this yet. Um, 2d6. One and two. Cody, I think I stole one of your dice, by the way. Oh, that does matter. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it went. Yeah, I know. Um, if you're missing a dice, assume it's me. Oh, you want to swap this one for Cody's? Um, I want to use Cody's. <laughs> it's good luck. He's made stolen good dice are the best. <laughs> oh, some Comic Quest sells those now too, and uh, Requiem apparently sells dice. If I didn't already have like 400 dice, 14, 14 plus, um, plus what is it like plus six for dire wolf or plus four? You um, archered this one. Yeah, yeah, he shot. And it. you got some damage in there, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I got oh, five damage there. in. Boskne. Um, Stand up, hit, third the move. Uh, plus five, 19. 19, will hit. Will hit, so that's plus eight. Or no, that's eight. Uh, plus eight. Eight plus three, so that's 11. Okay. All right, you slash the specter. It kind of shimmers a bit. Uh, you feel like that probably didn't hurt as hard as you would have expected, but it is. it seems to be going a little staticky. Strength, strength roll. Strength roll, all right. For what, trip attack? Prone, yeah. Prone? Uh, let's see here. Was some, saving throw, I should say. Can something with no legs go prone? You know, I want to say yes. <laughs> is it a creature? It, yeah, it is a creature. It doesn't. It must may succeed on a 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. It got exactly a 13. Good for it, because it has a minus five to strength. So yeah, I hear you. I I, I, I don't understand the mechanic on that either. Yeah, I guess I'm assume not, you. I, I hear you. Yeah, I guess assume you punch it hard enough that it falls over. Yeah, I don't understand. You punch it into undeath. More, more in death. All right, cool. All right, so it is uh, still standing, barely. Um, so, Cody. Barely. He's not even ah, there. He's not a bear anymore. <laughs> and go, Dad, show your dice. Okay. I stole your dad's dice once and he had to buy a whole bunch of metal dice. Let's see here. Now we're going to have. Uh, Can we take back all the dice? Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Would you like me? Would you like a die to make up for it? Would you like my 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 red dice to make up for it? All right, Minotaur Skeleton's turn. Uh, look up his stats here. He can use that one, Cody. Okay, we've got to get back. Yes. 
All right, where are the stats on my minute okay, quest? I tell you about his, the D20 that I stole from him. I, I, I like legit <laughs> stole up. Like, this was unintentional. There was no intent to steal your dice on that one. But there was intent to steal your dad's dice. And he took pictures of it in different places and taunted me, Cody, for a year. So I didn't have intent to steal that dice. That was that was a straight up mistake. But once you had it, you could double down. That's the best way to do no, it. No, no, I intended to steal his game science D twenty, the, the white one. But that, you have that, you have some extra dice in here. Do you want those? Take them. No, you already have your own dice. You don't need dad's die. Oh right, <laughs> Cody. I clearly have. <laughs> All right, uh, Druid. At the end of your turn, uh, Druid and. I one, stay. two, three, four, five. So, Cody, uh, at one point, uh, <laughs> you, you said I had I whatever. Could not uh, use Minotaur my, my is going to go at the wolf with a great axe. And Cody, at some point, you said these dice were uh, bad. Ah, that's going to hit. Brian, you're being hit by a Minotaur. You're going to hit by a Minotaur. Also, Ranger number one and uh, you remember you saying that? Druid. Yes. You are within 30 okay. feet of the Bodak and take five Necrotic at the end of your turn as the Aura of Annihilation consumes you. Take five. How much do I take? Uh, five. Both take five Necrotic from the Bodak. And then you got hit by the Minotaur. I don't roll? It's no nope, Aura of Annihilation. He gets stands near you. If he waits ten rounds, he will eventually kill all of you. Eventually. Ugh. He plays the long con on the ground that <laughs> he only has a fist. How much do I take? Five. And then the uh, Minotaur skeleton is going to hit you for Do I take resistance on it? No. As, I, as, I know this. And, uh, um, ooh, Minotaur is going to hit you for max damage with a bat great axe. He takes 16 oh. slashing. Oh, you have resistance. I don't know. I don't. Not yet. I don't. 15? Uh, 16. No, you didn't. So you only took eight. No, I'm, I'm not raging, raging yet. Oh. So he, he hits you pretty hard, but he only gets one attack, so that bodes well. The other one still doesn't have room to get in the hallway. Uh, he this does have a new enemy to attack. That's true. So you know what? He's just going to go ahead and try and attack the water elemental. Uh, water elemental's AC is not super high on the ground. It's water and not wearing clothing. Um, quick, quick. I got it. It's attacking I got you on this one. Uh, it is an AC of 14. Okay. That is going to hit. Does it have resistance? Okay, so it's going to take your white dice, Dave? reduced damage. What's your name, by the way? Who's Rich? Rich, my Five, name is Brian. Five, four, three. I need okay. to know the HP of my water element. We need you. It is at 109 we're, right we're now. We're ready to die. So it has 109. Okay. We're not ready to die. Like, like yep. just learned my skills. And that will <laughs> end its turn. Uh, we're going to go so to... Uh, Sorcerer, very, you wake up on the ground, you look over, and you see a paladin in shining armor, and you're like, oh, thank god. You are a paladin in shining armor? Okay, I am going to take the disengage action. Okay, you get I am going to move here. Yes. I'm going to burn two sorcery points so that I can cast a spell. No, no, not twin spell. Cast a spell. Yeah, quicken spell so I can cast a spell as a bonus action, and I am going to cast fire breathing on my hero, the paladin. Okay. You mean dragon's breath? Dragon's breath. Breath. Isn't that a touch spell? I can touch her. Or, yeah, pull me one behind her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you have breath. What back? element? You are the paladin. Fire. Fire? All right. Fire. What kind of... Are you human? What, what are you? Human. Yeah, yeah. Let's You're now a fire-breathing human. Okay. Right. You can now spend your action to do a fire-breathing attack in what? 15-foot cone? 15-foot cone. And then it's what? Dex save or attack? Dex save. Okay. If they fail, they take... 3d6? 2d6? 3d6. 3d6 fire. Dex 14. So you can breathe fire now if you want. Uh, that is a cone, though, and friendly fire is turned on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch the team. <laughs> Great spell, though. I do love that spell. Especially works on animals. Right. Well, my thing is she's going to be the last one standing. Like it's gonna, <laughs> Brian's not going to make it another round or two. It's going to come down to this. I feel like you guys should really invest in a blessed spell. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I now have cleric levels. Um, Maybe sanctuary also good because you have high wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanctuary on the druid so they have to make the wisdom save to actually hit him. All right, cool. I think I have sanctuary. All right. Uh, how many sorcery uh, points do you have left? Uh, I know you did some math to convert your spells into sorcery points. Yeah, yeah. Time. So I had, uh, you had like four, four, so oh. I just burned two, so I have two left. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Well, uh, and I burned a third level spell. To get yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go to Spectres 1 and 2. How much HP do you have? What? How many hit points? Your total hit points. Fifth level uh, pal. I mean, fifth level pal. 44? 44? Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, I've got 62. That's better than the sorcerer has right now. Oh. I have 16 <laughs> left. A whopping seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm hiding behind you for a reason. <laughs> okay, we're going to go specters. Uh, let's see here. Specter 2, Electric Boogaloo. All right. One specter is... Um, this specter is going to get... He's going to try and hit the wolf because he's right in front of him. Oh, Oof, but a one is going to miss. Yeah, that misses. It, the fist literally goes right through you and you both kind of look at each other and it's like that awkward silence where you're just like <laughs> ooh. yeah that's rough buddy that's that's real rough and um let's see here uh what's the last one we want to do 
Let's see. What's the movement on a specter? Okay. Oh, it's gonna advance. I can't use my dice, Brian. <laughs> So, okay. So Let's see here. Uh, am I in the corner? <laughs> am I in wait, timeout? Dice timeout? Dice timeout. Dice timeout. <laughs> Alright, uh, this specter is gonna sink into the wall. Druid, would, would you like to make an attack of opportunity with your reaction? Do I get op attack on that? You do. If you burn your reaction, you can you can, you can can make an op attack. Is that, that's, that's my melee, I think? Yeah. Nice, yeah, the melee attack. Pack attack, I guess? Yep. Boom. That's 12 plus... That's five, six, uh, five, six, seven, seventeen. Seventeen will hit, and for a whopping what is that? Nine. Uh, that's nine plus three. That's twelve. All right. Oh, and make it. And it needs to make it straight seven for a fall. They are. It. Uh, not twenty minus five is a fifteen. That makes it. All right. They failed it. Would be that would be good. All right. Uh, you walk as you slash at it, and it seems to disappear into the wall. Um. It's gonna let's appear see. behind us. Uh, let's see, so let's see. Alright. Uh, you guys hear familiar shrieking coming from the walls to your left. As Sorcerer, it comes out of the wall and, and starts reaching out towards you like a goddamn Dementor. Yes. Uh, it's like, welcome to Azkaban, bitch! And it attacks you. But I don't think a 13 is gonna hit. 13 is a miss. Oh, for one, something missed you. Yeah, hey. I'm at 15 right now. Your so luck's that's... turning around. Yeah, yeah. Lucky, lucky uh, Rich here is keeping me alive. Now, Rich, you kill it. <laughs> now, you kill it. You just grab him and just slowly put him I, in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> I will once again be taking the disengage action. <laughs> you should just take some levels in Rogue and just really just double down on the free disengage. <laughs> All right, so he tries to come out and get sucker punched. You and it misses, and you're like, oh, thank God. Yes. All right, sorcerer number two went. Uh, that brings us all the way down to all right, druid. You're up. Rage. Rage. All right. Wait, didn't you already go? Yeah, but we skipped him one turn last time, so we were just gonna give him two on this turn because we messed up. Well, I messed up. I did the math wrong. All right, uh, druid. Yes. Rage. You're gonna rage. Yes. The bear gets rabies temporarily and starts foaming at the mouth. It's an easy thing to. It's an easy thing to be angry when you're getting stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, who will you attack? You got a specter and the. Uh... Are you here, codes? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I get advantage, so I'm attacking. Him. All right. Okay. We can Ooh, nineteen plus 18. all that. That's gonna hit for how much? Six, seven, uh, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. That's thirteen points of damage. Thirteen. All right. That one seems to slash right through it. It seems to scatter a bit and reform, as that one's never been hurt before. Roll the strength attack. All right. I don't know how I can not get prone, but apparently I can. Uh, and this time you succeed, as you somehow knock it prone. You know what that means for you? Okay. On every single one of your bazillion okay. attacks. Okay, we go to the water elemental. Water yes. elemental. Well! All right, well, let's stare into the eyes of the Bodak. Do you want to stare into the eyes of the Bodak? To attack it without disadvantage. I'm not... I, it'll look away from the Bodak. And it whelms! You get disadvantage if you don't look at the Bodak. No, it is... Whelm is, no, is a save ability. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you don't Okay, so let's see. DC 15 strength saving throw. Let's look at what a Bodak's got. Uh, let's see. Bodak. Bodak Horseman. Uh... Okay, Bodak Horseman here is going to. Uh, uh, Alright, so it's gonna fail, so it's gonna take 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning, and it is grappled. <clears throat> Who's this? The Bodak. It takes 19 points of damage. Okay. It's nice. grappled, so it can't move. Why is my phone making noise? It's on silent. I think that's me. Is it yours? We're getting the same. Where? 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 Okay, and right. that's going to end his turn, I'm assuming. Uh, Water Elemental will take five necrotic damage from its aura of annihilation. How much have you taken, Cody? Uh, it is at 105 right now. I'm keeping track to make it easy for you guys. 105 on who? Uh, on the water I'm elemental. Like he's taking 105? No, he's at 105. <laughs> they don't have that kind of DPS. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, next up, that brings us to... Uh, I do. Even with a 17, somehow still the slowest, a paladin. Uh, you're up. There's a, a specter um, right behind you. What's your character's name? Uh, 
That's a good question. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll What's your character? That's change. the one thing you can't change in AL. So pick carefully. <laughs> yeah. Mine's Oswald. 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 I don't worry. They don't have a fly speed. They have a fly speed. I can't do a penguin. No, penguins can't fly. I can do a penguin. No, they have swim speed. I can do swim speed. But he can't do fly speed. I can't do fly speed. I thought he couldn't do swim speed. Later. You have to level up. You okay? At level five, I can't. All right, so Paladin, there are undead out the wazoo. You are in your preferred fighting element here. Pick a target. Don't pick a target. So at level five, I can do a... You can breathe fire, yes. No, at level four, Druid, I can do a... 3d6 fire? Magical. Which works, because if you don't have magical weapons, they take half damage. Okay. So the fire the, the problem is, is it's a lot of fire. So if you breathe fire now, you're gonna kill me. No, no, no cause it's a, it's a <laughs> cone. So if she just breathes directly, it'll be fine. Okay. Because it won't. It take the the space directly in front of you is always one square. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if I breathe fire, I'm not gonna hurt anybody else. No, because the way the cone works is it goes outwards, and you can basically target the square directly in front of you, and it won't hit anyone to your left or right. So. I can do swim. Okay. Go against the yeah. All right, cool. You down a bottle of hot sauce and breathe some fire. You spit six fire. You show it your mixtape. Uh, so it's gonna make what? Dex? DC 14. DC 14 dexterity. I'm looking at your character. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying oh, to and it, it will fail with a 7. Roll nice. 3d6 magic Big damage. numbers. Okay. Uh, you hit, so you roll 3d6. Fire. Here, I got some extra d6s. Fair enough. So Notice how he gave them to you. I, I have a tendency to steal dice. <laughs> Alright, 8 damage, and let's see how much health was Spectre number. Oh! It was at 6 health! There it is! The Spectre there it into is! Flames. The B team is live! <laughs> the Spectre erupts into flames and is Did you no just more. Kill? Yeah! Kill Round one, flames. man, breathing fire, killing things. Look at the noob! <laughs> Killing stuff! Yeah, first kill the game. You know what? Inspiration. Good on you. Good on you. Inspiration. Good for you. Wait, DM, wait. Are you being nice on the new character? The new player? What? <laughs> I've dealt with you guys for like... I've dealt with you guys for like... Are you kidding me? I've been dealing with you guys for like... Wait, you kill us. Like, nearly kill us last week. New players show up and you're nice to them? You gotta start somewhere. Damn. <laughs> You've been playing DM longer than I've been alive, I'm willing to bet. So you know what? Oh, Don't and you had the old joke. What? <laughs> That wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Mortality is never a joke. It's time to get serious about this now, man. We're, this is on. It's on right here. <laughs> Vivian getting inspiration. We've been sitting here for months, no inspiration. Oh, my name is Vivian. Vivian I give an inspiration when you died the second time for being on character. Well, you've done nothing wrong. It's his fault. Oh. Um, Can I tell them what the party's name is? What's the party's name? You have a party name? The, yes. Remember a few weeks ago? No, I don't. During the Lost Minds of Pandelver? Also, no. <laughs> the Lost Minds of Pandelver, and I kept on trying to do what was the move called? Oh, yeah. Hailstorms, like we call their party the Water Deep City Police Department. Oh, yeah, the WPD. Yeah. And then at Con, Probably not our subdivision scary. is the Morgan's Rangers, named after the famous American Revolutionary War this hero, Daniel Morgan. And then all the characters said, What's the Revolutionary War? And they said, <laughs> Solid point. <laughs> Do you know who Daniel Morgan was in U.S. history? Was he a captain by any chance? <laughs> captain Morgan. He was actually. Do you know what Captain Morgan is? is? It's rum. Rum. And it tastes great with Coke. Not that you should have it until you're at least 20. You and know, one of your friends is 21. <laughs> Do you know what it was? What, he's, what he was? During the, no, during the battle of, during when we tried to conquer Quebec, he was Benedict Arnold's right hand man. Not exactly a position I'd be happy with. And he got, so he climbs up a wall to shoot out some, to kill a Quebec defender. The Quebec defender hits, shoots him in the head with a musket. Daniel Morgan falls down. It falls off the ladder, climbs back up, and stabs the dude to death with his sword. See, now that's what DM favoritism is like. <laughs> you do not get that from me. Musket in the face from Quebec. Shot in the face. <laughs> and living and Okay, back to the top. Uh, Ranger number two. You watch your uh, paladin buddy just smoke the, uh, smoke the uh, specter. There was one lying on the ground, somehow. I will say, making a ranged attack against a prone enemy does give you disadvantage. So you might want to get up there and kind of give him a little, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you bow ranger? He's got a longbow. Yeah, I'm a longbow. Um, so I can shoot. Like, there's also that guy. Yeah. That would help me out. 
Yeah. I'll well, end up doing that. Uh, shooting at enemies behind yeah. allies makes it a little bit harder to hit, but okay. this thing's not wearing any armor, so you're feeling pretty oh, confident God. you can hit it anyways. Awesome. Get it. Cool. I also, um, well, is it damaged? Yeah, this one's been hit a little bit. Okay, because I also, um... Well, a little bit, I fireballed the room before we went in. Like I said, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what I want to do is I am going to take... Is apart. Is oh, I want to burn a give you a new one slot yeah. for yeah. Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter's Mark allows me yes. to add a 1d6 on First my attack roll. Okay, you're damaged. Yep, alright, so you cast Hunter's Mark. Damage. Or damage or attack roll? I got a new I got attack roll or something, that's blast. Menu. That's a different spell. Okay. Alright, so yes, if you hit him, you will get a d6 damage, and as a bonus action on subsequent turns, you can move the hunter's mark to other people. Yes. Yeah, so attack. So then that would be Sashi. Seven, Seven plus what? Plus uh, my proficiency, right? Plus dex. Three. Oh, uh, dex is four. So it's so, so 11. Yeah. The dex is plus four, damn. Yeah. Nice. So that's a plus seven to your seven. Yeah. Fourteen. That just hit. There it is. With there it is. <laughs> Beautiful, okay. beautiful. I was afraid about that. The soft cover bonus, but you, you hit anyway. So you're going to be rolling a d6 and a d8 and then adding your dexterity modifier. Plus six, d8, and then... Plus four? Plus four, yeah. yeah good for you. Four, 18 dex, that's nice. One, two, three, four. Four, four plus four is eight. So, all right. So that's going to be eight damage. Does it have... Uh, all right, now I keep forgetting they don't have any damage. Ranger's plus distance. seven with his bow. What? All right. what? He's plus seven with his bow. Because I have... Um, Usually the pre-gens are so not very well plus designed, plus but yeah. I'm glad at least they get dumped off the stats. And then he gets an extra D8. I mean, he's a ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so nice, nice shot. Uh, that goes right between where his eyes would be. He's still moving on the grounds that he doesn't care if you shoot him in the face. <laughs> but he's starting to. He looks a little rattled. Um, he's been beat up a little bit. His bones look a little black and kind of charred from. And one of them looks pretty cracked from a sound wave that someone sent out earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you really, this room is gonna need a refurbishing. Yeah. Probably a deep scrub. Deep scrub. Um, we play. We plan to take over this abbey once we've cleansed it of its evil. We need a base of operations. Gentrification by force. Yeah, exactly. Classic. Um, all right, we're gonna go to uh, Ranger number one. I will attack this. Yes, you try to. Can you get him to stand up? <laughs> All right. You have advantage. He's laying down. You do have advantage. He is somehow laying down. I'll just. So he's floating I'll just in a supine position. After each ah! one. All right. After each one. Okay, so this. That one is not gonna hit. Well, the seven might hit. They don't so know how will I see. A, will a fourteen hit? A fourteen will hit. Print. Print oh, print. Burr, 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 burr. Well, I don't have my soundboard okay, on this phone, but one, imagine air horns. For the first one, That's take a take take twelve damage. All right. Now the you next stab one. Him. Now the next one is a is a seventeen. A seventeen will hit for one plus five damage. Okay. Total. And then the crit. And, and the crit, crit. re-roll that other d8. Ooh, nice, that's a six and what, a seven? Uh, so the, uh, sir, six and a one. one. Yeah, so it's going to be an 11 points of damage from that. And yes. make your strength saving throw. Okay, okay, what about a grin again? Snaring strike. We've got a snaring strike. Uh, you're gonna, you're snaring strike? Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, you know what? Spectres are immune to being prone. That is listed. But I'm gonna uh. give it to you anyway, because I'm a benevolent DM. <laughs> uh, but it is immune to being restrained. <laughs> the kindness is spreading, evidently. <laughs> it's because we arrived. That's yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that is going to, you stab the crap out of it. It's barely holding together. It's starting to wig out. Its colors are changing rapidly for some oh. reason. Oh, it sounds like it's, it's... It's making weird sound effects from cartoons. It's, the signal's a little messed up. It's going from like AM to FM. Yes. And like, oh, that's, that's rough. Yes, yes. But it is still somehow barely undead. Um, okay. Nice, nice. Uh, take five necrotic damage at the end of your turn. And give me a con saving throw to maintain concentration on the, uh, on the water elemental. Do not lose this, Cody. Con saving throw, I'm pretty good. 13? Yeah, you only need a 10, so you're good. I got a total of a 17. Yeah, it's always a DC 10, I believe? DC 10, Actually, so wait. you gotta roll six, Cody. Yeah, because it's yeah. It doesn't matter what level of spell you cast. It's only how much damage you take. All right, and then you take five necrotic, and then that will go bring us to Minotaur skeleton. Number one is going to keep uh, keep trying to attack because the, there's a wolf in the way and he has no room to move. Uh, does a twelve hit? So no. Saying, no. Yes, you're at least a fourteen because mm -hmm. you got that unarmored defense. Uh, that's gonna bring us to the second one. Who's gonna attack the water elemental? And eighteen will hit. He's gonna hit the water elemental for reduced damage of. 
Is it hitting me? No, it's attacking the water elemental. This is the one uh, that can't reach you. So he's going to hit the water elemental. He's going to take another five points of damage. Wait, they're attacking each other? Yeah, the water elemental's on your side. Cody summoned a water elemental and put it on top of that thing. That's what he's trying to concentrate to keep in line. Because if he loses control, it's going to go on a rampage. It's going to kill you. It's going to kill everyone. It's gonna, but it's first going to have to go through that. Then you. It can. It's water. Then then it will go wherever and Cody it wants. Will be running. <laughs> it will go down the hall and go all plagues of Egypt on you. So the water elemental has a 100 even health, so it's doing pretty pretty yeah! dandy. We're gonna go down to now a sorcerer. Okay, this guy is prone or not prone? I'm gonna say it's prone somehow. Okay, he's somehow. For no other reason, so, I feel sorry for you. So powerful that he's he feels prone. so bad for you. He lies down. Uh, so Eldritch Bolt against prone guy is gonna give me a minus two. You have Eldritch Blast. I'm sorry. Uh, did, did you also take levels in Warlock? Yeah, not yet, yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, Firebolt. Uh, Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. All right. Minus two. Uh. Because he's prone. Uh, or he disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah, this ain't thirty. Uh, <laughs> so disadvantage. I'd rather not do that. These are unreadable. <laughs> That's a that one. That's a nineteen. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I was reading that. And then this one is a, That's a nine. nine plus six is fourteen. Oh, fourteen just hit for twelve points oh, of frost. Damage. Max. Well, not max damage, but that'll hit. Yes. It freezes and yes. shatters. There you go. There you go. Alcyon getting it done. All right, so the uh, uh, move action. Um, go home. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, they never saw him again. The other direction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they've killed everything else in that room, so they're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't get you guys through yes. there. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll stay where I am. Okay. Uh, next up are the. Well, it would be the Spectre's turn, but they're dead. So I feel like I'm missing someone in the. You know what? The Bodak hasn't been going. <laughs> oh, thank God. He doesn't need to move. He just needs to be angry. Uh, let's see here. What's the Bodak gonna do? Uh, see you, no. Dave. I think it's gonna attack the thing it's stuck. Yeah, the question is, how is it going to attack? Uh, I guess it does have a fist, but it could also just glare at it, because that's a thing it can do. Um, let's see, Bodak Horseman. Uh, let's see, Orb Annihilation. Uh, no one has a Sunblade, so it doesn't care about sunlight sensitivity. Alright, yes, it's going to make the, uh, the water... Let's see. We're gonna have what's, to make what's, the, what's the intelligence? On a, uh, yeah, no, not intelligent enough to figure that out. All right, so it's gonna make the water elemental make minus three. Yeah, it is. It is not. Uh, Wait, this is gonna be a save. It's gonna be a con that gives it a total of ten on the con save. That is going to be a fail if my Bodak stats are correct. That is going to. So what am I rolling? Uh, it was a con save and it rolled a ten. So let's see here. It's He's going... playing the water elemental. I'm just rolling its stats for you because I'm the one with its one right here. Um, we have it too. I googled it. <laughs> I googled it to make my life easier. Everything is there. Also, roll twenty, post everything for free. Yeah, he conjured this. 114 hit points. Yeah. yeah. Once per day, and if you lose con, you're in deep uh, shit. <laughs> it, but I mean, the, the thing is, it's just, it just wins fights. Like, it can do area of attack, it can do like 2d8. Magic item. He's now wearing a magical colander on his head. <laughs> He's a frog with a bowl on his head, Brian. How did you get this magical item? At con. Yeah. And then he bought it. It. it was 20 points, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, I got, got it for it. killing a Hydra. Okay, so the it's going to take a... Oh, not bad. It rolled really low. It's only going to take 16, putting it at 84. Adventures League. Uh, yeah, now you can get elemental stones. My paladin has one that may summons an earth elemental. It's great. It's a rock. <laughs> I just kind of throw it at people. <laughs> Uh, all right, so water elemental getting beat up, but it is tanking like a champ. Yes, it is. And uh, oh, right, it is. No, it's gonna. It doesn't need to breathe, so it doesn't need to worry about suffocation. And it also isn't. It only uses its action, so it can't try to break out. He's, he's content. He's like, you know what? This is fine. He's just kind of floating in there, just glaring <laughs> angrily. You watch the water elemental kind of squirm and contract, but then it's like fine. So he's just staring there, menacingly. Um, we're gonna go down to druid. You're up, my dude. So, uh, All right, Cobblepot. So do I get advantage on the Minotaur because the water elemental yep. is an ally? That is an ally for now. <laughs> for now. Don't change that. Oh, that'll hit. That's definitely going to hit. Uh, 15 points of damage. 15 nice. points. Is that slashing or bludgeoning? 
It's slashing, right? Because it's teeth. claw teeth. teeth? teeth? Okay. Oh, well, bludgeoning could be. I would. I guess that's piercing. piercing. I would, yeah. Okay. So that's how much you said. Um, that is fifteen. Okay. I get plus two because I'm raging. Yes. And then I get plus five, plus three. Okay. And then roll at strength. He's gonna stand up. Though. That is. Okay. Yep. That's not gonna matter. Uh, there it as is. You reach up. You rip off its head with your there. teeth, and you crush its uh, skull between your teeth. High in calcium. Good shoe toys. Please, move there. Does he gain health then? <laughs> Wait, where do you want him to move? Take the corner or you want there? him to go the other way? I want him... He wants him to go through the door that he can't fit through. The grung wants to get in the room. You want to... I, I'll, how about I, I go there? Don't be right there. I can't get to the enemy. You can... There's room. He's got a five foot square. You can walk. Oh, yeah. Or hop. You are a frog. Oh, you can leap him. Cody, Cody I can be here. Did anyone buy those boots of striding and springing? They would be very useful right now. Cody, I can be here and you can get into the room. Yeah, you can move through his yeah, you square. You can move through allied squares. Also, you can hop. So, all right. Uh, wherever you land. Um, I, I think here's the best place for me, Cody. Okay. It covers the hallway. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. I have to stay 30 feet away, for the record, because I die in the order. He will die in two turns from the Bodak, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, unless, unless you want me here to help you with the ranged attacks without getting anything. I think we isn't the They still can't get through the hallway without getting through you. So I, I either way is yeah, fine with yeah, me. Either way I mean, what do you where 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 do all y'all want me? Yeah, that, yeah, that's good. You're helping the archer. I think I help I'm helping you. The archer's been dominating too, so I like that. Okay. You good? Okay, yeah, my you good? Is, okay. I think that's the best for the archer. Okay. Your uh, range is you 120, will, right? 150. Like 150. You'll walk, I can shoot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole map. Yeah. But if you're shooting through a, a square that I'm occupied, you're, my, you're, you're yeah. minus, two. minus, minus two. two. Well, they're plus two to AC, but yeah, effectively. All right, so that'll end your turn. Take five necrotic from the Bodak. Because its aura of annihilation continues to slowly annihilate. How are we doing, Brian? He's working on it. Oh, no. He's doing pretty well. Is that what? Yeah. No, that's not bad. I'm at 11. Okay. In wolf form. Then he gets back to human form. And then he goes back to wolf 20. form. So All right, he's someone's got, got to get up there and pour a healing like, potion into the wolf. Yeah, he's still got like 60 functional health because he's a druid. Um, How much hit points? I got, I got like I six rounds. I have seven hit points. <laughs> I want to say I got four rounds. That is seven three, more than you had last four, week. Five. So Administer, take five, one, two. So I could run up and potion you and then run back. <laughs> All right. Um, um, next I think it would be better if we water focus fire turn. on him. Okay. Because he's getting because he's getting attacked oh, right. by the water elemental. He's, I can attack. He's him grappled, damage. right? So he's giving combat advantage. Yeah, we're getting but, advantage. But I get I, I mean right. I get so advantage because because I'm because he's Jason. Just 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 focus fire. Kill yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. We can look just away just. and we don't. If get Cody gets up there, does the paladin have an aura? Like a healing thing, hopefully. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Lay on, hand. Lay on hand. She can heal but twenty-five hit points. Paladins have auras too, right? They have not at fifth level. Not at sixth level. Dave, you stay where you're at. Everyone else gets gets up okay. close, uh, up close and personal. But me and the ranger, we're standing back. Yeah, I'm standing. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're you standing two are staying back. <laughs> everyone else. Firing gets close line up is staying right here. What's your character's name again? They haven't decided. <laughs> I, I decided Gale. 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 Very nice, yeah. Rich. Gale the ranger. Gale uh, the ranger. L for human. J. J, you need to get up close and personal, as a paladin always is. If you really want to, I mean, like, the wolf and the paladin right next to each other, that's how we operate. Seven. Okay. All right, that'll hit. Am I allowed to just... And the frog. <laughs> Kermit's always useful. Seven, five. <laughs> how big is the aura? So we have Kermit. 30, this, guy, have this guy's aura is 30 feet. You are just outside of it. So uh, six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, so it's right everyone there. outside of the room is barely outside the aura of annihilation. So um, the two of you just stay out of it. And then I have a question. If yes. I try to attack the... Um, oh, I forgot the name already. Bodak? The Bodak. Yes. Does, do I have... Would I accidentally hit the elemental? No. Uh, there's no friendly... There's no misfire. You can friendly fire, but you can't in miss and then accidentally hit someone else. Okay. Yeah. I will say, when you attack the Bodak, you have to decide whether or not to looking at, look at it. Because looking at it uh, will curse you and possibly hurt you. A lot. So you have yeah. to fire blind or... Yeah, points of damage or so. Or roll the dice literally in hope that it doesn't just instantly kill you. Um, let's see here. Don't worry. You get so water elemental. Rain, so you only have... So you're you'll even. Just right down and roll. Damn. Okay. So how much damage is that? Okay, you watch as the water elemental does just so much damage to the Bodak that it tries to crush it into a tiny ball. Wait, it's my water elemental's turn? He's rolling for yeah. you. Yeah. And, and it's going to look away and do two slam attacks. Yeah, it makes two slam attacks. And it hit with both, dealing a total of 48 plus 8. Uh, so the Bodak looks hurt. 
At least you yes. can tell. You don't want to look at it to figure out how hard it is. But you feel like it's hard. But not enough that you want to like look at it. Like, how hard is it? We're going to assume it's doing its job. Um, Everyone charge the boat at. He needs to die. Uh, again. Not you. Okay. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm 35 feet away. No, why don't we charge the boat at? You don't, get, you don't charge. You charge. You can't kill a boat at? How can you kill a lick? Get in there. What is you hurt too, is he? There you go. All right, uh, Paladin, you're up. Um, so, I'm going to die. Can I run up and do a fire breath attack without hurting the wolf? Well, fire breath is one time. Fire breath one time. So, you can move up here. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, you can get all right the way into right there. You have thirty feet of movement. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And then burn all your divine smite and just beat the hell out of this thing. Do you know smite divine smite? He does. Yeah, he's a paladin. Oh, Do you know divine smite? Do you know how that works? Yeah. Okay. And you're a paladin. You're very good against these. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you were born for this. Man. Like this is totally like your wheelhouse. You know, but Bodax are undead. What they're wizards that sold their souls to Orcus. Or they're 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 cultists of Orcus. That going all crazy. Yeah, faceless. You, you hate these things the, the most. This is what you do. Okay. <laughs> like paladins, is, I mean paladins and clerics. Like they wait this, for killing these things. This is your job. You kill on death. This is a line on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> No pressure. Yeah. None. <laughs> Zero. All right. So, Jane. Uh, Jane. Jade. J. Jay. Jay. So, yeah. You go to <laughs> attack. <laughs> She's gonna carve it into his chest. <laughs> uh, that's where the unholy symbols are. So yes. you have to make some room. Uh, will you look at the bodak when you try to smite it? Okay. Should I? Because I get disadvantage if I don't. If you don't, if you try to blindly swing at it, you do get disadvantage on the bodak. Um, but it's grapple, so you. This is you, but I mean, paladins. I mean, that's the kind of thing that a paladin would do. Got it. <laughs> it is restrained, so uh, if you don't look at it, you'll get, it'll be a flat roll because advantage and disadvantage cancel out. If you look at it, you'll get advantage, but you have to make a saving throw against its terribly ugly face. Okay, I'll just go with the flat roll. Okay, so you're just roll flat. All right, roll to hit. Oh, 13 plus what? Oh, that's 13. That is a 13 plus uh, proficiency and strength. Strength is three, three, so plus six. Alright, an 18. That will hit. Alright, now you can choose to burn a spell slot and smite. You will get an extra bonus dice because it is undead. Or you can just beat it normally. The burn smite would be on top of me hitting it with a longsword, right? Yeah, so it does d8 plus extra d8s. Okay. D8s. D8s. Plural. Okay, how many uh, if you burn a first level spell slot, you would do an extra three. Because you get two from level one smite, and because it's undead, you get another d8. Okay, and then the... Longsword does a d8. Okay. So you'd be rolling a total of four d8. I got d8. Do you have a level two? What you roll... I'm sorry? I think you have a level two. She does, but I mean... Do it. Take it. Do it. Now, the question is, is roll as many d8s as possible. You can burn higher level spell slots. For each spell slot you burn a level level above level one, you get another d8. So if you want, you can burn a second level I, spell I slot. I kind of want to see you role play this too. Yes. yes. I kind of want to see you role play this too. Uh, right answer. By the right of your Ooh. god, I smite thee. All right. Yeah. Eleven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Plus your strength, which is. Um, three? That's three. Twenty. Uh, no. a sword. It's a sword. But the smiting. The smiting no is radiant, but you don't add any bonuses to smite. The the bonus is the D8. That's the bonus. <laughs> the bonus is you hit them with a crap load of radiant damage, which your undead are not resistant to, including this one. So you hit him for twenty three. Which is My because wolf is like the, the radiant is so bright. It's you have to look away. The, the, the wolf look just away. looks away. Yeah. Like the dire wolf is. Well, you were already not looking at the Bodak, so you don't see what happened. You're like, I feel but it's like... so bright, it reflects upon the, the, the dull stone wall. It just reflects up the wall. No, 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 rainbow. It goes through the water. The wall and makes a yeah. prismatic like, like, the, like the prismatic. Where's the dice? Yeah, it's a rainbow. All right, so uh, it's a rainbow. as you bring... Your sword ignites in holy fire as you just bring it straight down. Uh, the water elemental is nice enough to just move kind of out of the way a little bit, and then you just kind of cleave it in half. Uh, you watch as the, the water elemental seems to just explode and the light just splits out and just paints the entire room like a rainbow colored disco ball. There you go. You look back and where the bodak was is just a blob of ash floating inside the water elemental yes. that then kind of vomits it out onto the floor. Just bleh. Yeah, my water elemental. The bodak is dead. It has been destroyed. Yeah. Nice work. Nice. And that's why you always have a paladin when dealing with the undead. Yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> That's huge. Uh, let's see here. All right. That's Bodak. B-O-D-A-K. It's from uh, Volos, I think? Yes. Volos or... 
Yeah, it's not Mordenkainen, but it's also in this you one. Can you um, You can Google it if you want to see the photo. Um, no, just Google D&D Beyond. Bodak. Or just Bodak 5e, because I know um, Roll20 has all the stats. I think it's because of a photo. Alright, we go back to the top. Ranger number two, you watch as an explosion of light, and uh, you can see like bits of rain, uh, like prismatic light reflecting off your body through the tattered uh, through the tattered uh, velvet curtain. As you look in, it's just a black ball, just like of wet ash just on the floor where the Bodak used to be. Uh, this Ranger. So, <laughs> Stay down! <laughs> So there's no more aura then, right? Cause it's yeah, gone. no. The, the aura is gone. You so, you no longer feel annihilated. <laughs> can I... Uh, you can will have... Can here? Where's my movement? So this one. Your movement is 30, so you can move six squares. So I'll do one, two, three. Just because yeah. then I can go corners, right? So uh, you can, but there's a wall in the way, so you're going to have to go here. Okay. It can't cross a corner with a hard barrier. Got so you can that shoot at that minotaur yeah. skeleton. So... Uh, Without penalty. So. I, I realized that my longbow actually, with all the bonuses plus the fighting style archery, it's plus nine. Yeah, archery nice. gives you plus two to attack. So yeah. always. It's only got sixty hit points. Okay. So it's resistant to most everything now. Uh, okay. Yep. So roll, roll to yeah. hit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna also burn a, a, another level one for the hunter's mark. Oh, well. uh, you don't burn another spell slot. Um, oh. you, your hunter's mark was already on this creature, and it lasts oh, for one okay. minute. So, you, which is ten rounds, because each round is six seconds. So you yeah. can use bonus action and move it over to that guy, okay. and then try to shoot him. We use my bonus action to move it over. Yes. Okay. And then I'll just roll with the with the damage as well. Yeah. Boom. So it's uh that is a nine plus, plus nine. nine. Eighteen's so gonna hit. He's got the wearing armor scraps. So. Awesome. So then it'll be five damage. Five damage. All right. You hit. I don't think that one's been hit yet. No. Nope. Plus dex. You had a oh, dex. Not not hit yet. Then it won't have Colossus Slayer. Uh, okay, so... So, oh, plus dex, so it'll be 2 plus 4. Well, you still roll a d8 for your base damage the, on the longbow. Oh, so then that would... So it was, like, what, 8 originally? It was, it was 4. Three. Sorry, this was a 3. three. Alright, 3 plus 2 plus 4. Yeah. Okay, so 9? Okay. Yeah, so it's going to take 9. Okay. Uh, cool. So that, with the element that looks like that hurt him. As it sinks into one of these skeletal, slightly charred arms. Because he also got hit by a fireball. Uh... But not super. Uh, I expected nothing. Alright, so let's gonna put him at that. Okay. So that's all. Uh, I believe that ends your turn. That brings us to Ranger number one. You no longer feel like you're being annihilated. <laughs> and you look over and you're like, hey, the Bodak's not there. But then another one shows up. No. <laughs> the, bo the Bodak turns into slightly smaller, angrier Bodaks. <laughs> So Are you adjacent? Yes, I am adjacent. I will swing my plus one right ears at this cool. slew of hoes. You bought a couple of plus one right ears? I have two plus one right ears. Another crit. Nice. Where are you getting all the TCP for the plus one right ears? Um, I went to con for 15 hours. That's true. So that is yeah, 15 TCP. It's brutal. <laughs> how you get good. Well, that's how you get good items. And also yeah. burn a weekend. I would have gone, but I, I had a conflict with being sober, so... Uh, yes, that will hit. So that's one of them to crit. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. You should stop rolling tiny dice. <laughs> if for no other reason, then it makes it hard for me to read, and also you keep losing them. So the first one is... An eight. Okay. In his they, defense, I stole one of his big dice. <laughs> Stop telling um, dice! Um, well, it's 17 hit. A 17 going to hit. Take, take 9 damage. Okay. The next one I know is going to hit. Take 6 damage from that. And the last one... There we go. There's the air horn. 9, 6... So that is going to be a 14 for the last hit. Okay, and what was it for the first one? Six. Six, 14, six, Nine, six, 20. six 14. Okay, boom. Nice. Solid, solid. It looks pretty hard. 29 points of damage. 29 points of damage. You're, you're doing your job, Cody. All right. <laughs> you're also doing my job with the controller. Too? <laughs> Two plus one reviews. Yeah, they're like, what, eight points? You know, I have a piece of paper that tells me how many points <laughs> it is. It is, I think, only eight for a plus one weapon. Yeah. So and 15 tier hours one. each day, we, Cody? We have an extra tier one. 15 hours total. 15 hours each day or 15 hours total? Yeah, 15 hours total. Oh, it is uh, 16 points for a plus one weapon, so 32 points. I, I know you were there for 15 hours he one may, day. He may be cheating. Yeah, 32, 16, 16, 20, that's 52 points. Wait, didn't I get rid of my... Oh, wait, I no, no, he's got 20 tier 2, and he should have like 26 tier 1. Oh, and then I sold my... Selling it doesn't get you TCP back. Um, you can't sell. You, you keep it. You, still, you may not use it, but unless you sold it to a uh, uh, Fei Shang. We did not. We did you did not. not. Okay. We, we tried to. <laughs> yeah. No, that's okay, popular. So I've only got sell one, one. There's a guy who shows up at cons and you can like buy and sell magic items to him. 
and like occasional like pets and mounts and stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, so I only have one. So you have one, and then the 20 TCP for tier two you use to buy the, uh, the water elemental. And then he's got a, he's, so he's got, he's got Plus eight for the ring of water walking. Yes. And then he's got 16 for the... The rapier. rapier, and then he burned his tier two points all on the bowl. That he's collected for the bowl. Yeah, for the fat bowl. Like eight points in for the weapon warning. Yes. Yeah, all right. So I'm out of treasure points. Okay. So you need to have thirty tier one and twenty tier two. Points. Uh, you can spend them down. You can spend tier two on tier one. You just can't spend them up. Right, right. And starting in like two weeks, none of this will matter. <laughs> it's a flat item limit, so we will deal with it later. The, the math will be less mathy, which is may, makes all of our lives easier. All right, so solid hit. Uh, we're going to go to the one Minotaur skeleton left. Okay. Um, looks like I'm gonna get rid of that. Of the, wait. You I'm keep it for a couple weeks. Uh, he's gonna attack the water the elemental. Ring. Oof! Oh, you're gonna get rid of the ring. Uh, you don't like you're, you're the ring of power to run it? I have the ring. <laughs> well, you still have it, at least for now. It might come in. Uh, I don't know. It might come in play in the next couple. Get out of the here. next two sections. Yeah, now we're run across the water and into Area 51. Woo! Yes. Two Finally. weeks. How did that go? It hasn't happened yet. September 20th. Oh, September 20th. Yeah. You think we would have heard about it if it happened in August? <laughs> Unless they could have been. We would have flying cars by now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless of course they got it and time traveled back and made it September 20th. Oh. oh. I see them aliens. All it right. might it's all always be two oh, weeks away, Brian. For the rest of our lives, for the rest of our lives, we're going to be two weeks oh, away. Wake up, people! The government's lying to you. All right, so they are lying to us. Well, yeah, but I doubt about this. All right, so um, let's see. The Minotaur skeleton is going to crit against the water elemental. That's big oof, but it's reduced because it's resistant. So thank God. He's going to take. Uh, that's going to be... reduce it. Takes a total of eight, putting him at eighty-four. Minus eight is seconds. going to be seventy-six. All right. All right. Still holding up better than anyone else who is still currently alive or undead in the room. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, that brings us next to Sorcerer's turn. You no longer feel like you're getting annihilated. That's darn right. I'm not. Okay. With that. Th okay. So here's we moved our hunting line up. Yep. Move up here. There's one Minotaur skeleton blocking the door. And I throw a big pile of icicles at him. Ooh, that's not good. That's a 12. A 12? Uh, well hit. Oh, there you they, go. They do For not have six, armor on the grounds of being a skeleton. Six plus three is nine points of cold. Nine points of cold. A few of his bones break off. Yes, they do. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else you want to do? That is it. Okay, we're going to go down to... Uh, Druid. Uh, I think you might be able to finish this one off if you run around. I, I think I'm going to run around. I think I got the moves. What is it? Uh, you got to move like 40. So 5, 10, 15, Actually, 5, I think 25, I can move 30. 50. Yeah, you got it. Your you move is 50? As a wolf, yeah. You got plenty of room. 50. Also, technically, you could exist in the same spot and as the water Cody, elemental. is Cody right there? Cody yeah, he's on the other side. Assuming? And the water elemental. It's surrounded. It's At this point, it's just trying to body block the door. That counts. Sure. The are pretty high. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to yourself. It has no AC, though, man. What yeah, is your... what, what's your total head? Its AC is crap. It's a skeleton. It's not wearing armor. It looks cool, though. Yeah, it's large. Yeah. But you would know that. It looks cool as shit, though. That's dope. I like that artwork. Oh, it's very scary. Yeah, that's very scary. Long time. Um... Okay. Okay. Does a 11 hit? Oh, no. Close. <laughs> really? Only 11? Oh, because you get plus 2 to hit. That's right. Okay. I got plus 5 to hit. Oh, plus 5? Yeah, not 11 to hit. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go to Water Elemental. I guess Water Elemental is going to... Well, first we should Well, and on top of it, would a uh, 3, 4, 5... <laughs> plus all your bonuses? That's uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 would have killed it. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll to see. If, let's see if the water elemental gets its warm ability back. It does not. But I don't think it's gonna need it. He's gonna try and punch him in the face. An eight plus. What's it? Gets plus seven. That's gonna hit. Yep. Yep. Uh, Cody, do you want to roll the two d eight damage? There it is. Roll to finish it off. Okay. It takes. Was that a four on the dice? That's eight an eight. Oh, and nine plus so that four. That is gonna be thirteen. Thirteen bludgeoning. Oh, and it's uh, weak against bludgeoning because it's a skeleton. Oh, wow. You watch oh. as it goes into the skeleton and then Solid. rapidly expands, and the bones just go flying everywhere and embed themselves <laughs> into the wall. Nice. And Fido catches them. 
Yep. <laughs> Deck save to avoid getting killed by the bones. Bam! And the Star Sword somehow gets impaled by our shin bone and just falls over. All right, Once you again, have... the water elemental did its job. You have uh, won the battle. You are now in an empty, scorched, slightly cracked, bloodied, ash covered, wet wound. Short rest? <laughs> Not in this room. Uh, this room's an OSHA hazard. So wait, we have we have healing potions. Um, we need to continue moving. My water oh, how much can you heal? Only lasts for ten minutes. We can't Up rest. Up to points. Do it. Prolong rest though. We can't rest, guys. If we rest, my water. Does anyone else need healing? Brian, you need healing. Disappear. A short rest um, is ten minutes. My water will not be. Short rest is an hour. Long rest is uh, oh, eight. Oh, we can't rest, guys. Short rest, rest would be nice. Um, no, we don't get my water elemental at the short rest. You have two other people. <laughs> You're not running a three-man yeah, group anymore. Off two work, Cody. I'm saying... Do you have a healing? How much healing can you do? Also, you guys both start off with a potion of healing. This is your first session. Right, how much healing 2d4 plus 2. No, you weren't hurt. Uh, and I'm, these guys, to be honest, don't deserve it. The so. short rest. <laughs> Actually, I Save don't it. need healing <laughs> if Save I get it. a short rest. But how much do you need right now? How much are you down? Um, oh, he's in wolf form. I have 11 in wolf, 20 in person. And how much uh, 11 of... Out of like 20-something, right, for the wolf? Because I know the bear is 34. A wolf is 20-something, 20 26? He started at 37, so I'm going to guess 37, so he's down 26. I am down... Cody, we're doing math. Hold on just a sec. I am So down. that being said, I... And none of them are... Well, yeah, none of them are wizards anymore. Their intelligence score is not that high, so give them a minute while they, they do their math. They pull up the abacus and like, all right, how much health do I have? Do you have a healing spell or not, Cody? On a scale of 1 to 34, how badly am I hurt? If we do a short rest, I can get all my... Uh... But if we do a short rest, I, we lose the water elemental for the rest of the day. But that's, that's also... Cody, the chance of you failing a con save goes up every round. But I've got a really good con save. I've got plus 4. And all it takes is one failed one. And, all gonna die. <laughs> and you all drown, and not at sea. And a cruel twist of fate that I approve of. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry, but you know, so if you fail a con save, we all die. If you fail a con save, it goes rogue and starts trying to go terminate on your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason they're not very. So what? Heal Brian twenty five. Okay, I, I only so wait a minute. What happens if you stop concentration? It goes away. It goes nuts. It doesn't go away. It goes nuts. He's got to kill home. you. And then I, yeah, I, but I can use an action to stop and then it passes the plane of water. So I can split it up. So yeah, you can give like 13 and 12. Right, right, but he needs to, but he's going to take a lot of damage. He's going to run in with you and get beaten up. Okay. I'm standing in the back. <laughs> me, that, me and Gail are too yet, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, the plan is the plan I stay in the back. The, he's the tank, because mm. Druids have a shit ton of health, yeah. and he can rage to okay. half damage. If you're okay with that, can we use yeah. all Yes. So the wolf gets back 25. The wolf goes back to full, right? I don't know what the max on a wolf is. If there's leftover healing, you it's might want to get that to 37. 37? Okay. So, so he's 25. He's at 36. 36. But I'm no longer raging, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are still wolf, and then you have, what, one more wild shape left? Because you did short rest. Yeah. Okay. So if he goes out of... So, he gets knocked out of wild shape. short rest in here, right? Yeah. And then we went into here. And then you wild shape, so... Wild shape. So you have one. I have one. Do you want to Do you want to cure light on me, Cody? And that's a hit. Oh yeah, as a group, I mean, like as a ranger, you also have spells. Right. You might have some healing spells. You gotta lose your concentration. I don't. Well, oh, I have good berry, but it only heals oh. one HP. You know what? How many no. do you have? I, I can make ten. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> if you get KO'd, you only need to restore one to regain consciousness. If he gets downed a lot, so <laughs> he's yeah. Berry. If he gets well, down, no, no, I'll take what? I'll take five right now, and then we save five okay. and keep us going. Yeah. So, now so I'm at I'll 16. burn another. Okay. So I'm at first level. Yeah, first level. So if he gets down, just give him a good berry, and he'll stand up. He'll probably get downed again, but he will not be dying anymore. What? And he, he bleeds out. <laughs> he's standing like forcing a berry. Yeah. Go it. Live, and you just kind of punch him in the throat. Yeah. Because he did once bleed out due to. A swarm of spiders because oh, of that no. one. It was really <laughs> funny. It was, it was not funny. That was, there was nothing funny about that whatsoever. It was funny to me. <laughs> yeah, okay. To you. Because you're mean. The, you're, blood, you're the blood and the crypt spiders.